Okay, so if you're ordering vintage stamps from me, you'll see that I'm currently charging for 90 cents of postage. I just wanted to jump on here and explain why for those that are interested. Uh, the main thing to note is that this includes a forever, the, the, the equivalent of a forever stamp plus an extra ounce stamp. So postage rates are constantly changing and there's a chance that by the time you're ordering now, this 90 cents says something differently. Uh, if so, that's why. It's just that the postage rates have changed and I'm just changing my rates to match that. So to break this down more specifically, the 90 cents equals a forever stamp, which is currently 66 cents, and an extra ounce stamp, which is 24 cents. And if you add those together, it's 90 cents, which is what typically is what's necessary for you to hit your invitations through the mail. So this is mostly just an FYI. I will take care of all of this for you. Once you place your order and give me your uh, information, I will start curating a vintage stamp set that is specific to you and I'll make sure that it has the right denomination that you need. If for some reason you have a lot of items in your suite and we recommend adding an extra ounce of stamp, which is another 24 cents right now, um, then I will shoot you an email and let you know and let you know how much that is. Um, but for the most part, I would say the forever stamp plus extra ounce is enough to get most invitations through the mail. One thing I recommend is always double checking with your post office before mailing that you have enough postage. The rates are constantly changing and every post office tells you different things. So it's just good to double check with them. Uh, there's been times that I have taken invitations to three different post offices and every single post office tells me a different amount that I need. So that's just kind of a frustration with USPS, but I would say that most of the time, the recommendation that I'm giving is plenty to get your invitations through the mail. So yeah, that's just a general explanation for why I charge for 90 cents of vintage postage on your main envelopes.